Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Thanks everybody guys. Uh, you know that till the new year is not really much time left. So uh, this market uh, mostly is uh, thin and uh, do not show any significant progress. So uh, currently we will, we will not take a look at the euro currency although right now it is uh, passing through the our major 122 target. It's mostly uh, due to the turmoil in the Greece, this political crisis and that uh, has impacted on the gold market recently uh, sorry on the euro currency but still a euro currency uh, has not formed yet any uh, clear patterns uh, that's why we probably uh, should wait a bit more still we have right now two interesting setups one of them we have discussed right at the Christmas Eve and uh, it stands on the Japanese yen and today we, we will talk about it and second, second one stands on the New Zealand dollar. Uh, that also seems interesting. At least it it quite clear. And uh, in the current circumstances, uh, these two setups uh, we look as the most clear and most reliable uh, among all other currency pairs. So r right now, let's take a look at the Japanese yen. Today update will be fast and and uh, really brief because, as I said, markets mostly. Uh, stands uh, a bit frozen and uh, at the expectation of the uh, New Year's Day and uh, different markets uh, uh, here and there are closed so uh, as it was uh, right up the, after the Christmas uh, so on, the, on, on Friday uh, the uh, European markets were closed and the United States markets were opened so right now the Japanese market uh, this was the break between the New Year's Day and until the five, uh, 5th of the, uh, January. So it's a bit different uh, schedule of the trading hours on the different markets. I mean the exchange traded markets. And that's why it's better right now just to take a look at the, some uh, really fast setups and the tactical setups rather than the strategical because uh, right now uh, the strategical investors mostly stands flat. They close their positions at the end of the year and uh, they will enter the market on the only on the next year probably so recall what we have said on fr on uh, Thursday uh, sorry on uh, Friday after the uh, Christmas uh, we said that this really excellent thrust up and here we could get the double ripple sell pattern uh, this gap has been uh, that has appeared right here we said this probably will be closed that's a typical action for the forex markets and here it really has happened. So we can see close below of the of the three by three moving average, uh, close above again, and close below. That was the confirmation candle. I just increased the scale so you'll see it better. As you can see, second close below the three by three, right here is the confirmation candle of this double repulse sell pattern. Now markets uh, gravitating to the downside and stands at the weekly pivot point. So the double repulse pattern has been confirmed. And if you're if you're interested with it, you could try to trade it. The target of this double repo patron stands at uh, 1820, approximately the 50% support from the whole thrust of the double repo. That's usual tip, usually a typical target for the double repo patron. That's in fact the first setup that we have the tactical setup on the Japanese yen. Another setup we have on the New Zealand dollar. Uh, recall what we have said about it. Uh, on the weekly chart we have the bullish grabber that suggests the taking out of this top that's the minimum target of this pattern and we said that if market will hold here it it, could, it, it has chances to uh, continue move higher because you can see that this is an validation point and within the three weeks market stands inside of this grabber uh, range and but, uh, theoretically the market has the chance to create some upside continuation pattern that will hit this target and we have drawn this on the 4-hour time frame chart in our recent analysis on the New Zealand dollar that was before the Christmas. Uh, and it, it has this shape. 
this kind of shape. Uh, and we said that theoretically, market could form here the bottom line. Okay, and you can see that market now stands in the breakout of this trending line. If we will draw it in this manner, you can see that consolidation right below that theoretically, uh, when the market consolidates right below the trend line, it always has the bullish sign. So, uh, tight consolidation, that could be the preparation for the breakout, it's some sort of the flag. Okay. Subside breakouts, just the reaching of this area. So approximately uh, 80 even area, maybe 79.95. Why I use here 1618 extension? Because this target of this uh, butterfly corresponds, stands in agreement with the weekly grabber. And grabber suggests the taking out of this top. And if we would use the 127 extension, it stands below these lows. And uh, that's why we should use the 1618 extension. Maybe this also will take the shape of this some um, sort of the big ABCD pattern. To the upside, no, you can see that's two close targets and probably should be a bit higher. But anyway, uh, that's probably an area that market could hit if it will show the upside breakout. And this really could happen. This mostly two setups. We have started this discussion here. Recall what we have said. We said that, uh, well, this uh, bullish setup, if you would like to use it, that's not bad chance because you stand very close to the invalidation point. That's not, not much risk, really, from this uh, consolidation that was before the Christmas till the invalidation point of the butterfly. That's, in fact, the first invalidation point and its major invalidation point. Oh, you can see the breakout has happened. Uh, so uh, the second invalidation point stands right here. This is invalidation point of the grabber, but we said if market will fail with this butterfly, it's most probable chance that will it will mean the failure of the whole setup, um, because market should continue move high based on this pattern. And if this will not happen, that's probably something is wrong. But right now you can see it looks absolutely normal. Uh, if you have missed enter here, you could drop your time frame even more to the hourly chart or the 30 minute chart, uh, draw the our FIB levels and trying to take the position on the nearest FIB level. Or, guys, uh, since this is really a thin market on the eve of the New Year's holiday, so New Year's Day, maybe if you are not ready for trading in this period, maybe it's better to spend your time with the relatives and the friends. So markets always will be there. So after the holidays, we will return and uh, we, we will trade the setups that we will get on this day. Uh, that's why it's, it's only for the fans of the trading. So if you would like to trade on the New Year's Day as if, so you could do this. But in general, maybe this is the, such sort of time that better to spend as a family. Well, uh, if you will take a rest and just abandon and just ignore the setups, that's absolutely normal. So, that's been said, currently we have just two setups. The first is the double repo sell on the Japanese yen, it's now is in progress. And second setup, and it's a bit greater, this potential grabber on the weekly chart on the New Zealand dollar, this potential 79.95 <coughs> target. Sorry. So, <coughs> that's all. So, see, see you tomorrow.